Our goal of Leading Edge Aviation is for you to have a safe, effective, and efficient capture for the safety of your animals, for the safety of us, and for the safety of you. We'd like to share with you some information that we've obtained from years of wildlife capture and from consulting wildlife veterinarians and wildlife biologists across the United States. Realizing that the time that animal is restrained on the ground is the most stressful for it, we'd like to show you a video of how to put a collar kit together so we can collect your samples faster and more efficient, get the animal up and gone. This is your basic collar kit, data sheet. Data sheet should have your collar number and your ear tug number already on it. That eliminates a chance for us making a mistake. We're busy, it's cold, animal's struggling, uh, it can happen, things get mixed up. So if you have your collar number, ear tag number already wrote down on your data sheet, that makes things faster and more efficient. Collar, with the magnet off, always take the magnet off, that way there's no mistake of leaving a magnet on in the field. Where you collar with the magnet off. Collars should be attached with the hardware finger tight. That's all it needs to be finger tight. Then we do not have to get a collar wrench out and unscrew it, taking more time, more time for the animal on the ground. Blood tubes. Blood tubes should have a reference number to the collar on it. That way if the blood tube gets mixed up somewhere, we know what animal it goes to, you know what animal it goes to. If you will take a piece of paper, notebook paper, fold it in half, and roll your blood tubes in it. This will protect the blood tubes from breaking. It also keeps your blood tubes together in a bundle so that none of them get lost in the field and it is easier to film. Piece of tape around them, nice little blood tube, protected package. Needles, syringes, uh, swabs, ear tag, and back, roll packs, exam gloves. Fold your data sheet up into a Ziploc baggie, blood tubes, Needles, syringes, parental swabs, or ear swabs, whatever they are, ear tags, wool packs, exam gloves. All this in a Ziploc baggie. Press the air out. Your baggie should have your collar number on it. Then there's no mix up. You write your number on your collar bag and we know which one it went to if for some reason it gets separated from the collar. Roll that up in a nice little package, compact as possible. Place on the inside of the collar. Inside the collar. Tape it in place. Two layers of tape will be sufficient. We'd like for you to use masking tape, two inch masking tape is great. That way it doesn't stick to your bag and tear your bag and it, it can be removed easily by us in the field. When we get to the field we'll be able to exit the helicopter with this on our arm or inside our vest. That way we have both hands to exit the helicopter safely and we have both hands to restrain the animal. Once we get to the animal we'll be able to tear this open and masking tape will come off of the bag without tearing the bag. Then we have a complete bag to put our samples in. If there's any questions please call Leading Age Aviation and we'll help you any way we can. Thank you very much.